welcome to Joyfully Cooking. Today we're going to be making vegan cinnamon rolls. Let's get started. So today has been a really rainy day. It's been raining all day. So I decided I wanted to make a comforting food and a really enjoyable recipe. So here's what you need. So you want to start with preheating your oven to 350. And then in a large bowl, you want to combine two, two cups of flour. We're using one cup of whole wheat flour and one cup of unbleached flour so that the recipe isn't so thick. With a teaspoon of salt and a tablespoon of baking powder. Now we're adding in four tablespoons of our vegan earth balanced butter into our large bowl. And now we're going to add three fourths cup of soy milk or you can use almond milk into the bowl and now take a whisk and you want to stir that all together and you want to keep stirring it until it becomes thick and into a ball so now after you're done stirring in all the ingredients the flour and everything now it should be formed into a ball, just like that. And now we're going to spread it out on a dry surface. So now we have a dry surface. And now you just want to take a little flour and put it on that surface where we're going to be putting our ball at. Now we're going to take out our ball. And now we're just going to form it into a ball, okay? And I didn't put out too much flour on the surface, just a little bit. And now we're just going to form it and knead it into a ball. Not so much kneading, really, just to form it into a ball. And it should be nice, you know, not so hard. It's pretty soft and doughy-like. So here is our ball. We let it sit for about a minute, not so long. And now we're just going to spread it out into like a rectangle. Okay? But when you spread it out, make sure it doesn't get so thin. You want it to still have its thickness. Okay? So just easily spread it out like that. Okay, so it's about... Um, four by ten. Okay, and now you want to take a rolling pin and just roll it out. Okay, so now after we rolled it out, you want to take um, your melted butter. We melted about three teaspoons of butter. And then take your brush and dab it in the butter and Spread the butter over your dough. Just like that. And now for our main ingredient, the cinnamon. So now we're going to sprinkle our cinnamon over our dough. Just like that. Mmm, it smells so good. So I'm going to make sure you just sprinkle it around whole batter, mainly in the middle of the batter too, so when you bite into your cinnamon roll, you taste all that cinnamon inside. And we use a tablespoon of the cinnamon. Alrighty, so now we're going to roll our dough. Okay, so we're going to roll it this way. You can roll it the other way if you want, but I think this way is going to be better. Okay. So you want to edge it up gently around the whole batter and then just keep doing that. So 
now you want to cut right in the middle of the dough. Okay, and now you want to cut this row for this row first, and then that row. Okay, so we're going to make them about three inches or two inches. You can make yours bigger if you want. But then we're just going to cut them. And just to show you, look at that. That looks really good. And so we're just going to keep cutting them. Like that. And it might be a little bit hard, but just keep tugging on it and then it'll cut eventually. Okay, so with the remaining of the butter that we had melted, just um, put it in the glass dish that we're going to put our cinnamon rolls in. Just a little bit of that, just the remaining, the remnants of it. That should be good. Okay, and now we're going to put in our cinnamon rolls. And you want to have them a little bit spaced as you put them in because they are going to rise and be bigger and they're going to puff up. Okay, and so now just for the finishing touch, I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon over it just lightly, not so much. And now we're going to put them in the oven. So you want to bake the cinnamon rolls for 10 to 12 minutes or until it gets a nice golden color. So now as they bake, stay tuned for health tips for today. Okay, so now we're going to talk about our health tips for today. So today we're making cinnamon rolls, which is a nice and delicious dessert. And I just wanted to give a tip about desserts. When you have desserts, desserts are a good thing to have, but you do want to be cautious on having lots of desserts because desserts is just a special treat to have, but it isn't something that we should have every day. Um, and also with cinnamon, you do want to be careful with using cinnamon because we have to have everything in moderation and having everything in temperance, and in temperance as the Bible says, be temperate in all things. So when it comes to having desserts and using cinnamon, you do want to have it in moderation, but it is a, such a delicious treat to have, having these cinnamon rolls, and it's really good when you can make your own desserts because you know exactly what's in it, you know, no MSG, no artificial flavors, everything natural and the way that God wants us to have our desserts and have all of our meals natural and um, with all the ingredients. Um, that are healthy and that are going to be helping our bodies. So it's really good when you can make your own desserts and not have to buy brought um, desserts and cakes and so on. So now we're going to go back to the show. So here we have our delicious cinnamon rolls. We let them bake a little bit longer after we stood them up and then we added a glaze over it which I'll leave how to make that in the description box. But this came out so good and delicious and I am so ready to try it. So I hope you enjoy this recipe and stay tuned for more Joyfully Cooking.